A professional poker player known for scamming people at airports all across the country is in jail. Michael Borovitz allegedly approached people at airports with a sad story to get money and would promise to pay it back, but he never did. Well, now he's been arrested by airport police at DTW. Coco McAvoy joins us from the airport tonight. And Coco, this guy has been caught several times before. Yes, Michael Borovets has a criminal history that spans across 13 different states. And airport police here in Detroit have been trying to track him down for four years after he allegedly scammed people here at this airport. This is Michael Borovets. He's a professional poker player, but police say he hit his jackpots by scamming people at airports across the country. Explaining that he has a degree from Penn State in engineering, and he's just fallen on hard times and needs a little help. The Penn State part is true, but the rest was allegedly part of a scheme. He'd escort them to the ATM, they would withdraw a couple hundred dollars most times and give it to him, and he would promise to pay him back. Borovets didn't pay people back, and in a podcast on YouTube with Joey Ingram, he talks about how he pulled it off. So I was saying, you know, I'm getting the money wire, blah, 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 you know, that's, that's what I would say, and, you know, a lot of people trusted me and gave me money. Uh, people say I had a trusting face. I guess I do. His face is pretty well known, too. Borovets has been convicted multiple times for fraud at several airports. I, I was basically like a, a, a druggie, a junkie trying to get money for my high. Airport police at DTW tracked him for years and caught up with him this weekend. So we had war arrest warrants in hand and we knew that he would be passing through our airport and so we were able to take him off of a flight. Now the poker player is back in jail and police hope this time he stays there for a while. And with the current charges, Borovets is facing just two years behind bars, but airport police are hoping that more victims come forward because that could mean more charges could be filed. Back to you. Yeah. Okay, Coco.